Hey guys, I have a pet toad and he just ate, so he might not eat, but we have flies swarming around in here. See, we got flies just flying everywhere in this thing. Don't need to pick up the light and look at it. But we'll pop him out. Or actually I'm gonna leave this on. We'll get him out in general. Pick him up. This is comparison to my hand. Can you guys not see better light? I have my fish tank light on. So this is comparison. This is my hand. We'll turn him down. He's a pretty decent. He's a big toad. He's a big boy. Oh, He's going to a hideout. Then in this tank, I have a turtle, a catfish, and if you can't see, two goldfish. Um, I will show you my turtle in just a sec. Let's go to him in his cage. In his cage, we have um. Um, whatever it's called. We have a dome right here. We'll lift this up since the flies are already out. He ate them all. Or they just got up. Okay. Okay. So we have a dome right here. This is just a extra creamy whipped toughing ice container with mulch. Mulch is for basically compacting a dryer place for him. That's what I'm trying to do. Or mimicking. When I have this right in the corner, it makes this, so. He's more capable of going in. He has a nice size bowl. We'll go over there. And then we have a bottom of a cutout container. It's a, I don't know what kind of container it was. It might be a cool, or not cool it, but it might be a chip dip. And then we actually bought this one from the pet store. Right here. That's enough water for him. He likes relaxing in it. Of course, it, the water's dirty. Yes, if you guys are going to leave me comments, I will clean that out. And then I have put grass over here, but that's where he finds he needs to lay his bed. Right there, he can't see that. That little hole. And then he lays here, here. So he has three different spots. And then he goes in the dome, like I said, when when uh, he's shedding. And then I'm trying to grow grass along the edge here. Let's let the lighting pick up. Along the edge right here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's some grass growing. And that's so the lighting from the window isn't hurting him too much. Because I know if there's more experienced toad people out there that just know more about him. But I've had toads for a while now. As you can see, I've had him for quite a while because just the size, you can tell. Um, I got him when he was, I'd say about... A quarter sized good he'll eat little butterflies baby crickets um but i'm trying to get some grass growing here make it look more like a natural environment because yes the blue stuff is grass seeds and then we have grass growing in this little corner right here and we have grass all along the edge right here growing all the way up to his water dish just so it co compacts some shade Right now, he is burying himself, which is really cool. He's literally just burying the top of his body. Once I move my finger, I'll probably see he hides. Like. But if you had it up like this, you really can't see him much if you're just walking around unless you're look specifically looking for this certain type of toad. 
this tank I got from my grandma, but you can buy 10 gallon tanks like this, 10 gallon aquarium tanks like this for, I'd say, 15 bucks at Walmart. That's if you get the cheapest, which cheap ones are good. I mean, they'll last for stuff like this. Don't know how long they'll last for holding water. I got this one from Uncle Bill's. And I just got a lamp right here. Turn this off so you can see it. Just got a lamp right here. It's a regular twisty bulb. And then a... Oh, I don't get, uh, it's not picking up the brand. It's supposed to be a portable lamp. And then it has that. And then this is wire because I screwed a screw into my wall. This is wire holding that stuff together. And then there's electric cord right here that goes all the way down into my cord box that's behind here. But this turns on. And then my fish tank can be here. Okay, so I don't know if you can see him. He's right. Literally right there. We'll go up top. See if you can see him right here. He's right there, guys. Right there. And my catfish. I'll look this if you see him. Just look up. You'll see him come out. There's my catfish. We'll get a better underwater view of him. Just 30 seconds. There we go. There's my catfish. He is a baby channel cat. There's my turtle, if you can't see him now. Um, and then, just some goldfish so you can eat them. The catfish mimitates the turtle's natural environment. Yes, I know my tank's very filthy. Um, but, but, thanks for watching, and please subscribe. Subscribe. This is my first YouTube video, so if it looks kind of weird or sounds weird, I'm still kind of getting used to the whole YouTube thing. Um, but please subscribe, and I will show you how I set this up in the next video. Thank you.